Hello Tamers and welcome to round 3 of the Animal Colosseum Beast Wars, Leviamon vs. Fanglongmon. The Divas and Sovereigns have the first move. Security setup. Digimon standby. Let's open the digital gates. The Sovereigns will hatch nothing. And for 7 cosplay, Makuramon. On play, 1 drop. Then, you may play one diva with a different name from cards in your battle area or trash from your hand to an empty space in your breeding area at no cost. And with this effect, they will call forth Majiramon to the breeding area. Turn over. Hatching, Tsunomon. Evolves into Goblimon. First, for two cost, Wisdom Train. One and two, they are gonna grab that all-important Rivals Barrage. For two cost, another Wisdom. 1 and 2, this time they choose Shakomon. Then for 2 cost, the Goblimon in the raising area will evolve into Octomon. And for 3, into Dragomon. Turnover, Majiramon moves out. First, for 1 cost, they will play the option card, Loyalty, Deeper Than The Sea. On main, reveal the top 3 cards of your deck. Place one card with the Diva or Four Sovereigns trait as the bottom evolution card of one of your Digimon, or add one of those cards to your hand. Return the rest to deck top or deck bottom. One, two, and three. They are going to grab their signature option card with the Four Sovereigns trait, Sovereign Ultimate Formation, and return these two Black Divas to the top of the deck. Majiramon's effect. During your turn once per turn, when you use an option card with a cost of one or more, gain one memory. And with that, it attacks. Check, 4k on Dobermon X, trashed, Makuramon strikes as well, check, 2k on Impmon, trashed. Next, for 7 cost once again, another diva, Kunbiramon is played. They all share the same on play, so 1 draw, and from the hand, Antilamon is placed in the raising area. Turnover, Dragomon moves out. First, for 3 cost, Shakomon is played. On play, for each of your opponent's Digimon, draw one card, so that's 3 draw. Then trash one card in your hand, they choose Lucimon, Fall Down Mode. Triggering Tsunomon for 1 draw, and Goblimon's Inheritable for 1 memory. And with that, using the delay effects of Wisdom Training for 5 minus 2, 3 cost. In the darkest depths of the Net Ocean, the Demon Lord of Envy shall now awaken to devour all. As Dragomon evolves into one of the seven great Demon Lords, Leviamon. One draw. On Evolve, if your opponent has equal or more Digimon and Tamers than you, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the highest level. The target chosen is Kunbiramon. Then, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest level, they choose Majiramon, triggering Leviamon's second effect. On all turns, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, gain one memory for each. Memory plus two as it attacks, aiming for Makuramon. The Sovereigns remain quiet, and Makuramon is devoured whole. Once again, triggering Leviamon for one memory. And with Piercing from Dragomon, plus Leviamon's natural security attack plus one, that's two checks on 13k. First, Vikaralamon. Trashed. Second, Indramon. Trash. Now for two cost, Shakomon will evolve into Dobermon X. On evolve, draw one, trash one. So one draw, and from the hand they choose to trash, Cerberusmon X. Finally, for two cost, another shot of Wisdom Trade. One and two, they choose to grab Dragomon. Turnover, and Antilamon moves out. Unfortunately, it no longer has any partners for Alliance, it simply goes for security on 8k. Check, 4k on Dobermon X, it survives, allowing it to trigger its end of attack if you have 3 or fewer security, recovery plus 1 from the deck, to 4. And now, in the face of the Demon Lord, the Sovereigns have just one thing to say. They play the option card, Sovereign Ultimate Formation. First, while you have a Diva or Four Sovereigns Digimon, you may use this card ignoring color requirements. And when you would use this card, for each Diva or Four Sovereigns card with a different name in your trash, reduce the cost by one. So let's take a look at the Sovereigns trash. It's pretty fat so far with six applicable cards with different names. So for 12 minus six, only six cost. On main, you may play one Digimon card with Fanglongmon in its name from your hand at no cost. 
So here he comes. From the rumbling east, to the blazing south, to the roaring west, and the blooming north. All paths ultimately lead to the center. Now bow down and witness the golden light of judgment as Holy Fang Long Mon descends on the field. On play, by returning up to four cards with Diva or four sovereigns in their traits from your trash to the bottom of the deck, for each card return, all of your opponent's Digimon get minus 4k DP for the turn. Now Leviamon has 13k DP, which annoyingly lies over the 12k threshold, so they will return four. Loyalty, Kunbira, Makura, and Indra to deck bottom in order to blast Leviamon's field with minus 16k DP, wiping them out. And with that, turn over. Hatching, Tsunomon. Evolves into Labramon. Fortunately, just like the Sovereigns, Leviamon is not alone in this battle. For 7 cost, he will borrow power from his fellow Demon Lord of Gluttony and play Rival's Barrage. On main, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the highest level. During all turns, Fang Longmon isn't affected by the effects of the opponent's Digimon, but it is susceptible to the effects of option cards. The Golden Dragon of the Center falls. Turnover, active, draw. Once again, the Divas do not hatch any. First, Antilamon will go for security on 8k again. Check! But it is Leviamon's signature option card. I refuse to call it by its English localized name. Like what even is Biting Crush? So do allow me to call it by its Japanese name. Lostrum! On security, activate me. By trashing one card in your hand, delete one of your opponent's level 6 or lower Digimon. So by trashing another copy of Leviamon, Antilamon is vanquished. If a card with the 7 Great Demon Lord's trait was trashed by this effect, place this card into your battle area. Now the Diva's turn continues. For 7 costs, they will play Chaturamon. Once again, the save on play 1 draw. And then from the hand, they will play Sinduramon in their raising area. Turnover, Labramon moves out. First, with the delay effects of Wisdom Training, it will evolve into Optima. On Evolve, if there are 4 or more Digimon, play 1 Fujitsumon token in your battle area suspended at no cost. But if there are 3 or less Digimon, play it in your opponent's battle area instead. Since there are currently only 2 Digimon in play, a Fujitsumon token is played to the Sovereign's field suspended. Fujitsumon tokens are purple with 3000 DP. On all turns, they cannot unsuspend and on deletion, trash 1 card in your hand. Now this meets Lostrum's activation condition. On all turns, when an opponent's Digimon is played by an effect, delay, you may play one Leviamon from your trash at no cost. But since delay effects are optional, Leviamon chooses not to use it yet. Instead, with Wisdom Training's delay, for 3 minus 2, 1 cost, Octomon will further evolve into Dragomon. On Evolve, your opponent plays one level 4 or lower Digimon from their trash suspended at no cost, but its on-play effects do not activate. However, there are currently no level 4 or lower Digimon in the Sovereign's trash, simply because all the Divas and Sovereigns are level 5 or higher. But Leviamon is not done just yet. For 3 cost. Once again, Leviamon will begrudgingly call upon the power of a fellow Demon Lord. This time, the Lord of Wrath as Dragomon evolves into... Daemon. One draw. On Evolve, trash the top two cards of your deck for each of your opponent's Digimon in play. Since there are currently two, that's one, two, three, and four. If you trash four or more cards with this effect, you may play one level five or lower purple Digimon from your trash at no cost. With this effect, Daemon will choose to resurrect Cerberus Monet. Triggering Labramon's Inheritable during your turn once per turn. When you play a Digimon by an effect, gain one memory. And with Cerberus Excess on play, you may play one level 3 purple Digimon from your trash at no cost. They choose BT6 Impmon, which has its own on play. You may trash one card in your hand. If you do, return one Digimon card with seven great Demon Lords or three Musketeers in its type from your trash to your hand. They are going to trash another copy of Daemon to recycle a Leviamon. And for 5 cost, Leviamon can once again return to the field. One draw. On Evolve, unfortunately, Leviamon currently has more Digimon in play than the Sovereigns, so it can't activate the full power of its Envy, but it's still strong enough to delete Chaturamon. And with its all turns, they gain one memory for that. Turnover, Sinduramon 
moves out. Now, with Cerberus Mon excess in Herdball, Leviamon will be able to strike twice next turn, and it has the perfect fodder in the form of Impmon. In other words, the Demon Lord's field is all set up for lethal. So in order to put a stop to that, for three cost, let the earth shiver and the flowers bloom as the Digimon Sovereign of the North, Ebon Wumon, descends upon Sinduramon. One draw. On Evolve, for each of your Digimon with the Diva or Four Sovereigns trait, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. The target is, of course, the four damage dealing Leviamon. Then, all of your opponent's Digimon don't unsuspend during your opponent's next unsuspend phase. And with that, turn over, hatching, Tsunomon. Evolves into Shakuma. But the Demon Lord's field is still pretty much intact, so instead of trying to get rid of a Bonwumon for two cost, they will just play another Wisdom Tree. One and two, they grab Optimon. Turn over. Now, it seems the Sovereigns don't plan on using their Raising Area this turn, so they will hatch Mother Deary. A Bonwumon goes for security on its 12k DP. Final security check for the Demon Lords. And it is 7k on Dragomon, buried deep within the lush earth. But now that one turn has passed, Leviamon will be able to unsuspend the next turn and OTK. But to that, the Sovereigns have this response. Unleash! For the second time this game, the Sovereign Ultimate Formation. Fanglongmon is a god beast, so he doesn't count. They have 5 applicable cards in the trash. So for 12 minus 5, 7 cost. Here he descends again. The center of all creation, Fanglongmon. And of course, on play, one copy of Ultimate Formation, Chaturamon, Antilamon, and Majiramon will be returned to deck bottom to once again completely wipe the Demon Lord's feet. And with that, turn over. Shakumon moves out. First, for rate cost, Leviamon will cast the second copy of Lostrum. Trashing Creepymon from the hand to place it in your battle area while taking out Ebonwumon and Overflow minus 4. With Ebonwumon's on delete, delete one of your opponent's suspended Digimon, but currently there are none. Now, with the delay effects of Wisdom Training, Shakumon will evolve up into Dobermon and attacks Fujitsumon. Since Fujitsumon only has 3k DP, it is taken out. And with its on delete, the Sovereigns must now trash one card from your hand. They pick Baikumon. And now, with all the draws Leviamon has made this game, they can do this. For 7 cost, here comes another blast of gluttony, Rivals Barrage number 2. Which means once again, Holy Fanglongmon is shot down. Turn over. Mother D Reaper moves out. Now for 7 cost, Pajiramon is played. On play, the usual diva affects one draw, but unfortunately, they're running out of hand, they do not have a second diva to place in the breeding area. Turnover, active, draw, hatching, Tsunomon. Evolves into Shakomon. Now, there are currently a bit too many Digimon on the field, so Dobermon is going to go for secure. Check! It's Azulongmon Ace on 12k DP. Perfect. So it's taken out. If it's on delete, 1, 2, and 3. Then, return one purple Digimon or Tamer from your trash to your hand. They will recycle Cerberus Monax. And now, for 5 cost, Octomon is played directly to the field. Its on play is the same as its on evolve. And since there are currently only 3 Digimon on the field, a Fujitsumon token can be spawned to the opponent's side. Which means, it's time. With the delay effects of Lostrum, one Leviamon emerges on the field. On play, it devours Pajiramon, stealing one memory. And now, with the other Lostrum, a second Leviamon surfaces as well. And with that, turnover. Once again, they hatch Mother Deary. But the Sovereigns are now in a difficult situation. Leviamon clearly has next turn lethal, and they don't have any more divas to assist him. By Humon won't really do much, it can simply be consumed by another Leviamon before they start attacking. Azulong can bounce Octomon to the hand, but with a Shakomon in raising, Leviamon will still have lethal. And the same goes for Jutiamon, which they currently don't have in hand. And finally, 
even if they stun one Leviamon with Eponumon, they'll still have lethal. But to lock down as much damage as possible, for 7 cost, Eponumon of the North returns to the field. Its on play is the same as its on evolve, it suspends one Leviamon, which does not unsuspend at the start of the next turn. Turnover, Shackomon moves out. First, Leviamon will go for secure. First, and there was a third copy of Sovereign Ultimate Formation waiting in secure. On security, return one card with Fanglong Mon in its name from your trash to your hand, then add this card to your hand. So now the Sovereigns are all set up for the next turn, if it ever comes. Second check, it's a loyalty. On security, activate main. One, two, and three. They are gonna grab the other loyalty. Remaining are sent to deck bot. Now Shakumon will go for security on 1k. Final security check for the Sovereigns. And it is... 12k DP on Jutiamonix, which burns down the little crustacean to ash. But with that, Optimon attacks. The Sovereigns have no blockers on the field and no security remaining. It's a direct attack and the match is over. The winner of the third round of the Beast Wars is Leviamon, accompanied by his fellow Great Demon Lord.